Clean Green Earth for All here, Pismo Beach, California, reporting on the state of affairs. So last night we had a good surf. It rewashed the beach. I'm going to try and do a better job of filming uh, just exactly what's going on here. So there we go. Apparently there's a bunch of cats here, I see, right off the bat. All right, so you can see that was just a matter of seconds here. I'll start putting them in my pocket because I can't carry them all. See that guys in essence we literally have microplastics washing up here look at that see that stuff it's so hard to get up i mean it's time consuming but that i mean geez louise holy toledo look at i can't even hold on to it but i mean you seen that there was four caps in the road there there's some kind of seal tags this look at this see one, two, three, four caps in a row right there. And a bunch of microplastics. Look at that. There's another cap. More caps. Plastic. Another cap. Holy cow, look at this. See this? The surf washed up this last night out of the sand. The caps are everywhere. So we determined that these plastic yellow tips, there's white ones and yellow ones, we determined they're from some type of beach toy. I'm not sure yet which kind of beach toy, but look at here, look at here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 
and there's microplastics. 13, 14. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. That was, I was in a ten-foot radius. Microplastics everywhere. All right, guys, you get the idea, huh? So, I mean, it's handful after handful here. A lot of straws and dozens and dozens and dozens of bottle caps. So I got a full pocket already, but I ain't stopping. All right, guys, my pocket's so full, I gotta start another pocket. Oh man, I could just see it goes on and on here. But uh, I'm gonna circle back, because I've seen some, I seen some large caps over here. Wow, this is absurd. But this is the reality of the situation here. I'm gonna have to get a bag out here. Um, I do have some bags. All right, guys, there's so much I had to get a bag. So I had to take a break there and get a grab a bag. I wanted to time it because I think I could grab hundreds of caps here in a matter of minutes, but whatever. My point is to get this done. So. Oh, how am I gonna do this? I gotta need to get some stuff in the bag first. Excuse my incompetence momentarily. So here's what we picked up in a matter of five minutes.
All right, so that was in like five minutes, literally. And I mean, I had to get the bag out because the surf, <clears throat> the surf came up last night and swirled around this sand and knocked these caps back up into here. When that happens, some of the trash gets pulled back out into the ocean via the rip tide, the rip current. So all this plastic, some of it, a majority of it's ended up back in the ocean. All right, now I got some weight behind my bag. I could drag it around because there is an absurd amount right here right now. So I have, I have to get something done here. I need to tie this bag to my, I need to tie this bag up somehow. It's kind of absurd doing this with this big of a bag. And filming at the same time. All right, I'm gonna have to put the camera on my head so I can do this right.
Hey guys, see that? I just kicked this mound here. And look at that. There is so much microplastic. Look at that. See that? There is a lot of it. And some of it's really horrible and sharp. I mean, could you imagine? So the tide comes in and grabs some of this and takes it back out to sea. Granted, a lot of it gets pushed back up here to the shore, but a lot of it doesn't. It gets taken back out to sea. Imagine if you're a whale right out, right out there feeding and uh, you get a couple of these, a couple of those guys in your food. I mean, how much can the fish take? So you got, you got to, we have to conclude here, right? From just this little spot, there's hundreds of, hundreds of pieces of microplastic. And uh, therefore, billions, billions of pieces in the ocean currently. Look at that puppy. Look at that puppy. Oh, that's a big guy. <laughs> Spend my youth dropping coins in a wishing well In hopes one day that I would find a story to tell I wear regrets so so this empty life It's a burden that keeps me awake at night We bless the sun cause it gave light to our days We curse our youth cause it wouldn't stay Fragile old star destined to pray. I search the sacred text while trapped in a We 
saw you start It wouldn't stay We swore in blood that our hope would remain So tragic The sun comes, it gave light to our days. We cursed our youth, cause it wouldn't stay. We swore in blood that our hope would remain. Such fragile son destined to pray. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, so as I was saying, we got to the beach and I seen right away dozens of caps. I seen that the surf had exposed the caps really good and uh right away i knew you got when that happens you got to get the caps before the sand dries and the wind blows sand over them hiding them again so you can't see them because what happens is the surf comes in rearranges the beach gets the caps out pulls them out and exposes them but in a matter of a couple of days the uh if it, well, it depends on the weather, but if it's dry and the sand dries, the wind will blow the sand back over these caps and we won't be able to see them. There's a deodorant cap there. More microplastics. Oh, that's foam. So anyhow, yeah, I got down here, seen all the caps and plastic exposed. So I was like, yeah, let me just get as much as I can out. I love to get these out right here because I've seen a lot of videos where these were stuck around animals. Feet, necks, all kinds of stuff. So right there, there's a quick little pickup here, just in this little pile here. Look at that. So. Anyway, I just wanted to say about the well and everything look at this there's caps everywhere All right, guys, super exciting day. I got super lucky. What a great day. Uh, the ocean, basically the surf, the waves, kicked all this plastic up to uh, <clears throat> along the water line where it's easily identifiable. And I was able to nab this up here in about a hundred yard span. Uh, yeah, super lucky. I'm super stoked. What a great day. I mean, we got lucky. Like, it's not every day you get to get this lucky get this much trash cleaned up so yeah I'm stoked the oceans cleansing itself basically so what's happening here I'm gonna try and separate this real quick and uh, I'm gonna go from there separate it I think I might try to count the caps I don't know 
Look at all them caps. As you've seen on the footage there, it was just cap after cap after cap, cap after cap. Amazing. Absolutely stunning. Anyway, I'm going to separate this up real quick and throw away the stuff. As you can see, we're here on the beach. I'm getting it done. Got a garbage can right there. I'm going to pick through this stuff real quick. I keep the caps because I'm keeping a count of how many I've found, and I've found a lot today. But uh, we had tons of straws. We had lots of just miscellaneous stuff. These things, there's hundreds of these. As you can see, straws, straws, doll. I mean, this is, this is just, I don't know, maybe I spent an hour on the beach in total. So, yeah, quite amazing. All right, I'm gonna sort it all out and count the caps. All right, try and count the caps here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 156 158 160 
162, 164, 166, 118 guys, it's 327, another cap, so 328, 329, that's a cap, 330, 331, 332, 332, Oh, 
333. That's a 333 right there. Oh man, wow. 333 so far. That's a cap. 334. I think that's it, guys. Oh. Alright. So that's what's left. What did I say? 334 caps? There you go. 334 caps, just like that, right off the beach. And all this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like ten, eleven, eleven straws. 330 something caps, 11 straws, and a bunch of other small pla plastic. It's always the beach toys. So that's what we found on the beach. It was quick too, Wasn't didn't take too long. I mean, we're talking on the other side of the lifeguard station there, number one. From right there to just past there is the area I worked on just now. It wasn't much at all. And uh, that's, that's what I got out of there. Real quick, like, I work fast, but uh, yeah, anyhow, me babbling on. Wow. All right, let me get this cleaned up. Yes! There you have it. So I'm gonna keep the caps because I started a cap collection. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll do some art with them or something. But uh, keep the good beach toys that are still good, wash them up. I don't know, donate them, give them to the kids. I don't know. Another successful day here at Pismo Beach. I mean, I am really excited about what we got done today. All of that plastic will not be going into the ocean.